Pikachu can play like more of what Pichu wanted to do before, more of like the laid back T Jolt style. Right. You can still get the early kills with the down air. You can still get uh, thunder confirms. No. Your neutral game is still crazy. Right. You still have you, loops. Yeah. Uh, your combo game is just as insane, if not better. Uh, I would argue your your edge guarding game is a little bit better too, just because like you can bear and fare a little bit easier. You know. You're a bigger hitbox, so it's a lot easier to hit those moves. Yeah, we see K9, you know, playing this neutral really solid right now. Uh, just keeping Pikachu out. Uh, Pikachu, main problem still is the stubbiness. So. And I didn't know we could crush into the lasers, actually. So that's got to be something super good to know for this matchup. Characters that can do that do have a good advantage just dealing with Wolf Laser. Right. Yet again, no, 138%, and Wolf's only at 41. But yet again, like I was saying, that up tail, is that little hop kick, and you're, yeah. you're dead. Yeah, and you know, he's really not forcing it right now. He's making Void come to him, uh, not pushing a lot of buns. Even when he's cornered, he's not super not super committal on anything. Right. And here we go. Here's the ledge trapping, and yet again, just wait. He tries to go for a super punishing option, but you know what? They're going to be a little bit too late on that. And yet again, you know, Pikachu has just been stuffing out a lot of these wolf uh, landing options. <laughs> that's three nares in a row. All right. Finally gets some hit in. All right. I feel um, like he hasn't been able to find that like super damaging combo yet, or like that super like I'm gonna kill you and throw you off stage like mm. like, like edge guard you off. Stage. Yeah, and a lot of that comes down to just the way that K9 is playing. Like he's playing very anti the strong hits. He's only getting hit by the pecs. Aside from that nair to up smash. I mean, yeah, again, that Nair is so good. It combos into itself. Yeah. It's a good out of shield option. It, it drags down yeah. and then leads yeah. into that. Yeah. But even still, like, let's say K9 is super, doing a super good job of keeping Pikachu out right now. Oh, yeah. And yet again, here's the up air combos, but you know what? Not going to be able to uh, extend it because of the platforming. He was able to tech on it. All right, text the grab, actually. Right. Very sight to see in this game. I mean, when you see a tech grab, that's because both players try yeah. to go for it at the same time. Yeah, it's never like, it's not like your traditional fighters where, like, they're doing it specifically to tech a setup. Right. Because, like, you have to hit it on the same frame. Here we go. Forward to the throw him off stage. But, you know, I'm just going to respect the option and catching the, the jump from Ledge instead. And here we go. Uh, trying to catch the landing option, but just barely avoids it. And that clanks with that gun. <laughs> It's always so weird to see. Like you're, you're expecting the projectile and just the normal hit of the gun stop their move. Okay. Yeah, yeah, quick nade to throw him off stage. Here's the blaster. You know, just jumping over the thunder jaw, but gets the forward tilt on the ledge get up option. And you know, K9 has the lead. All right, down smash. Is that gonna take it? Well, not quite enough. If that was Pichu, would have taken it. But <laughs> you know, what? as long as he's off stage, he'll find the kill eventually. Yeah, right now, uh, Kanan's really had the advantage of ledge trapping. Uh, Void has not been getting so much off of it. You know, we saw him get punished for trying to do that F smash on his get up attack, and like he's kind of been letting him get off scot free from being on ledge. But that dash attack will uh, finish off that stock, and now we have Kanan trying to make it back with a grab combo of its own. All right, and you see K9 is keeping him, you know, keep tacking on damage from him that ledge, and that backer is going to take it. Ooh, yes, I'll take it at 70%, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah super low percent. I mean, that wasn't super yeah, low, but, but that, was, that wasn't like... Positionally and everything, yeah. like, it makes perfect sense why it killed there. Right. But just, like, it's an so, early stock. For it's so strong, yeah. yeah. And yet again, now Void is on the defensive end. You know, are we going to see a character change? You know, maybe to the Joker? Yeah, maybe. All right, staying with Pikachu, uh, I really want to watch how he handles being, you know, in the corner and at ledge. That's really what got him this last match, I feel. All right, he wasn't able to really push his uh, advantage state. Three, two, one, go. Here we go to town and city, you know. I feel like the, the FD, like, transformation will help uh, Void a lot, a lot. Yeah, Pikachu combos are super good on flat stages. And then also the neutral game is a lot easier for the rats uh, when they just don't have platforms for people to escape to or to tech on. And here we go. You know, gets that cross up there to grab. But 
you know what, too far away to uh, really extend that combo, but manages to find it, and unfortunately not able to land to, to get the extension on the combo, but finds it anyways. You know, we're already seeing a Void who's kind of like, kind of woken up at this point. He'd be like, okay, I need to wake up after that game one. Yeah, now with the more passive style that was helping K9, now that he doesn't have the lead, that's not going to be as effective. Like, Void can now play that way, and like, K9 has to approach. Oh, you're trying to see Void end the set, or end, not end the set, but like end the stock right there. Yeah. Alright, let's see if he gets off his grab. Just decides to go for the edge guard, nothing too crazy. Uh, keeping him at ledge, playing it simple now. Just going for like these safer options as opposed to that forward smash we saw game one. Right. Not able to cross up the shield there, so we'll get grabbed, but no one's only going eating a back throw for that. Yeah, and you can see Void's really like tightened up his neutral and has caught on to more of like what buttons K9 wants to press and is facing around them better. All right. He's definitely playing a lot more safe and uh, like passive aggressive, you know? Yeah, a lot more ready to whiff punish wolf buttons and like bait them out. Right. Yet again, there's that punishing on the grab and now he's gonna eat a full combo for that, but you know, it just barely managed to spot dodge, but it doesn't matter if you spot dodge it because you're just going to eat up and up till anyways. You yeah. know, that's 50% right there. Yeah, and that's where, like, Boyd's labbing really comes in is, like, having those down because those are a lot harder than they look, honestly. Right. I feel like labbing is one of those things where, like, you can see how things work out in theory, but you need to test it on, like, real people to see, like, what would a real person DI in this situation? Getting so much damage off of that, and just right now, that Thunder's killing him off the other side. No, this is a completely different void than we were seeing in game one. Yeah, it's just, he's got him downloaded now. Like, K9's gonna have to make some super big adjustments if he wants to, if he wants to take this set. Like, it is looking rough for him right now. Here we go, no, K9 now finally finds an end, but like, He's trying to find something off of this recovery, but he finds nothing. But he does finally find yeah. the raw bear right that there. That same back air that won him game one. Uh, he's catching this double jump from Pikachu, which, you know, ledge jump is pretty much your safest ledge option across the board. Right. But, like, when you're able, when your opponent's able to punish it, that puts a lot more pressure on you at ledge. Right. You actually have to, like, mix up your recovery or mix up how you get off from ledge. And, you know, like, good players will wait for you to do that. All right, but Void got a hit in. Uh, K9 back airing out of it and actually connects. Oh, wow. Just, just the one. Yeah. Uh, he felt the button coming, I guess, and yeah. it just happened to be just outside of Forest Smash's range. Yeah. Good call by Void. Right, gonna get the four tail, throws him off stage, gets the jump off to, to the platform, and you know what? Using the, the reflector to avoid the Thunder Jolt, I like that. Yeah. Uh, Wolf. All right, there's Nero Smash. Yep. But yeah, Wolf's Reflector uh, is very different in the way you have to deal with it in Disadvantage because he doesn't stop when he does the Reflector. Like, it keeps his, his aerial momentum. Right. So, like, when he's doing that off of uh, when he's recovering, like, he's still falling with that. So, like, he can only do it in certain areas. Right. But the, the flip side of that is that you can use it to help, like, combo if yeah. you can. But, like, and the invincibility now after the last patch is a lot better, so you can actually like mash it out of more situations and then get things off of it. Right. I mean, you'll never see Wolves actually go for those combos, but like in theory, yeah. if you've seen the Twitter videos, yeah. like in where to believe them, then like that's a, a top tier move. But that being said, uh, Charlie from around here oh, does yeah. like to go for that reflector. Yeah. I mean, it's one of those things where like for what Wolf can do, it's, I feel like it's good but impractical a lot of the time. Right. And when he has so many good practical options, That's not really like pretty much it. all of his buttons are good and practical except for his reflector, right. which is good and impractical. <laughs> so it comes down to like, when are you really going to use this? Right. So like, you just don't see it very often. And here we go, back to game three on Smashville. Now, I want to see Pikachu like kind of use the platform to like, Quick attack cancel, but then Void can kind of like read that and they'll use the platform to kind of like bait out certain options. And you know, just having that space up there is going to make it a lot easier for him to deal with Pikachu's buttons. But that four smash you and the small side blast. You know what? I love what Void did right there. He threw out the side B knowing that K9 wanted to DI away to avoid any more forward errors, and he didn't want to air dodge because the air dodge would practically kill him. So that side B was practically confirmed at that yeah. point, and then it just sent him in such a horrible, horrible position where he was able to land a four smash fairly easily. Yeah, that's actually super smart of him to go for.
But yeah, I can feel, you know, K9 is going in a lot more right now. Uh, he feels the, the pressure of the set collapsing under him. Right. And now, like, Boy just has to catch these approaches, and right. he's good, and he's been doing a great job of that ever I since mean, Game 2 started. I mean, you never want to give Pikachu a lead in the matchup, because that's when, like, Pikachu really thrives. Yeah. Because Pikachu really never needs to approach super hard uh, without, like, having something safe in front of him. Right. Ooh. All right, and that LB is going the other way. Right. Uh, and actually kind of lucky for Void. Right. Here's a fourth throw, gets him off stage, throws out a Thunder Jolt, just avoids it, and no, it makes it back onto the ledge safely, but you know, it doesn't matter if you just pick a wrong option against Pikachu. All right, no edge guard on that. That was uh, looking super close to the down air hitting, but both will be fine the way. And you know what, Pikachu up throw will finish the stock, and you know what, we're on final stock. Is Boyd going to get a three stock at this point? Yeah, I mean, he's got the edge guard going right now. Ooh. You know what? I kind of half expected Boyd to go for another double jump back air, but I wasn't sure if he had a double jump. If he did, he probably would have gone for it. But, you know, it's one of those things where, like, I kind of expected Boyd to just end the game and end the set right there. Yeah. But right now, you can see he's playing a patient, waiting for, like, the perfect hit. I mean, yeah, there's no there's no reason to force an option. You know, like, just sit back, play your game. If it's working, it's working, you know? Don't force an option that you don't have to to put you in a bad position. Yeah. Well, that back air is not killing. Must have, yeah, he got the inner part of it, too. So. Got the weak hit of it. Yeah. Ooh, quick back air out of shield, and no one catches the landing option. You know, he doesn't have a double jump, but he texts it. Okay. Yeah. As long as you don't hit Pikachu immediately, then yeah. Yeah. I was surprised both that he got hit by that and that he typed it. <laughs> I wouldn't have been ready. Ooh, I like that. You know, trying to catch him uh, slipping on ledge. But you know what? He's going to get up at the perfect opportunity to avoid the forward smash. Yeah, but Boy can definitely afford to go for those now. Uh, <laughs> he's got such a big lead that, like, even if he does it entirely wrong, he's fine right now. I mean, I wouldn't be so sure. I mean, K9 is still a strong player, so he definitely doesn't have to let up his guard at all. But, oh, he has his double jump, but doesn't die to that. And yet again, he's going to make it back. Yeah, K9 is holding on to his life super hard right now. I feel like if we had seen this K9 in the earlier stocks, like, we would be seeing a much different game. But Yeah, and that's how it felt the set started out. He was playing super conservatively, and then as time went on, he started going in more and more. And you know what? You know what? Uh, Void did for that uh, school bash. 